Hi, uh, welcome to the um, C Sharp um, program tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at arrays. Uh, arrays um, is, is like where you've got data of the same type, same type in the sense of an integer or a string, uh, in that sense, all the same data, and they're all related to each other. You want to store them together, group them together. Um, instead of grouping them all individually and then trying to find them and organise them and not knowing if you've got them all, um, if you missed one out, um, you can put them into an array. So an example of that would be like employees, employee names. And so may, you may have 200 employees or an array of 200 and you may be short of your 200 and you get a, a new employee starts. So you, you type in the employees name it into the new array and just joined all the other employees and when you want to access names of employees you just need to access this one array and so so that's what arrays are used for and C sharp there's three different kinds of arrays there's a simple one the most simple one is the, the single dimension array and then the other one is the multi-dimension array which can be like multi as it says, it could be what two, three or four different um, dimensions to it. And two dimension you can think of it as like x, y axis or columns and rows. Um, so it's like a columns and rows would be like two dimensions and so the columns would, would have their value and the rows would have their value, so that'd be a multi-dimension. A jagged array is a lot more complicated. A jagged array is like, it's similar to a multi-dimensional array, but the difference is that instead of rows and columns where they've got the same data, but, but one represents the row and one represents the, the column, um, the other, the, you've got the array, and and the other part of the dimension array is another or an array, and that array can each array on on the jagged array can be of different sizes, and so that's what makes it more complicated. But if you do know how to use them, you can use them very powerfully. So it's a useful tool for C sharp. So the first one we're going to cover. It's a single dimension array. And the first thing, what you've got to remember about C sharp is that arrays are not data types. Um, though they've got to hold the same data within a data type, it's actually an object, it's a class. And so to make, to create an array, you've got to create an object. And, and so you've got to use the, the new keyword and so the way I would do the integer, you do int as if you're creating an integer, then it's it's square brackets, space, and then you're going to give this object to create of the integer array a name so that you can access it. And we'll call this one numbers. Just keep it simple. Then you go equals. And then you would use a new keyword. And then you go int square brackets, semicolon, but inside the square brackets, you will, this is where, after the new, is where you tell the C sharp program what size this array is going to be, how many elements it's going to have, and we are going to just keep it simple and say three elements, but it could be like, like 200 elements, 3000 elements, whatever you wanted, but you do not declare the elements when you you are defining a, an array and that's what you're, there, you're doing there it's only when you create a new object right so that's us created a new integer object now we're going to create a string so you again you go string square brackets and then you'd give it a name we're just going to say name names and equals new and string. 
square brackets and we tell um, C sharp how many elements it's going to have. We're going to say four just to keep it simple. Right, so that's that's how you create an array. We've not assigned any values to it. Um, and we've not we've not used it yet. So the first thing we're going to do is say the integer number we're going to give it assign numbers to each element. And the way to do that, there's two different ways of doing it, and I'm going to show you both ways, because I'm going to create another integer, and when we create the object, we'll actually assign values to it. And so, the, the first thing we do, you use its name, name of the object, number, and the square brackets, and inside the square brackets, which element do, do we want to assign a value to? Element number 3, number 2, element number 1 or element number 0. Now arrays start at 0. So if you've got 3 elements, the first element is 0, second is 1 and the third one is 2, it's not 3. And this is where some people get confused, it's like minus, it's the, the, the last element is minus the number, the they put into the object and so so we'll start off at zero so element the first element and equals and we'll put 44 in there and then we'll go on numbers square brackets one square and we're going to access the second one and we're going to say 32 and numbers brackets two that's the last that's the third element number two and we'll go eight two so that's us assign elements to numbers so what we're going to do is we will assign names to the string in the exact same way so so what we'll do is use the name of the object the string or the object <coughs> names and we will go to element number 3, which is the, the last one <coughs> excuse me and we'll go equals um, Sam and because it's a string array it's got to be a string you're putting into it it's got to, it's got to be the declared data type that's important because it's all the same data being grouped together and so we're not going to do 0, 1 and 2 it's just to show you it's the same. I'm going to create another integer array. Um, odd num and equals. But instead of doing the new key command and int and how many elements. We can just pass all the elements that we want to pass into this object and the object will be created and I'll show you, we're going to do odd numbers, 1 is the first element, comma to separate, 3 is the next, comma, 5, comma, 7, comma, 9, comma, no not comma because we're going to finish here, so we've actually given it 1, 2, 3, 4 elements, so it's 0 to 3 to access it, and the semicolon, and that's our opt. This is us just created an integer or, um, array object, the same way as we did up here, but with less code. And without having to assign each one individual, we've signed it all in one statement. So there's two ways of doing it, and that's what I'm showing you the two ways of doing it. And so if we run this code to see if there's any errors, and there's no errors, so everything's fine. Now to access them, um, um, all we need to do, we can use a, a for loop to print out each index. But what we're going to do is just we're going to use first we're going to console and then what we're going to do is 
we're going to um, add num square brackets and we'll access element number two element number two is the value five and so if we just end that so so this should be printed to screen number five number five is printed to screen and we can also we could do it any one of these elements so so that's zero one two three four so if we put number four we should get nine So, so you can see that we've created an object, an array object, assigned all the values in one statement, and it's the same as what we did up here with more code, and then assigned them all individually, which takes up a lot more code. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do if it row swapped as well. So we're going to do number square brackets um, number one is thirty two. There you go. And to prove that the string worked, its names square brackets and number three. We assigned just one name to number three, so put on that Sam should appear. Sam. Okay. And so what we can do is we can use a for it. And int int x equals zero. And it's, it's, it's so we want to access this one in the three elements. So x is less than three. And then what we want to do is increment x. And then what we're using is the braces, and after the braces, right? So we've got the code. This is a code to print out, to print out numbers. And in here we want to put x. X starts at zero. Then it's incremented. So x, so, and if we run the code, we'll see what happens. And it may be, yeah, so that's the old one. And so I spelled number song to ends. Okay. And so what we have here is 44, 32, and 82. The four root done three roots, as we told it to. And accessed each element. And we can also do odd num. And x. So what we've got to do is change this here to one, two, three, four, five elements. So if we go to, if we change this to five and we run a code. One, two, three, four, five. It's printed out all the elements that's in the array. So, so that's single dimensional ar arrays. And so, what we will do next time is a multi dimensional arrays. So, again, thank you for your time. And I hope if, if that's helpful.